Using Quick Scout Basketball, your QST Sports Network website, along with Smart's new Smart Notebook Express web tool, it makes uh, Quick Scout Basketball one of the more powerful tools out there for sharing presentations and scouting reports across the internet to from coaches to athletes and athletes back to coaches. I'm going to show you how to do that. First we're going to go into Quick Scout Basketball. And the first thing in Quick Scout Basketball I want to show you is the edit video side where you can go in and pretty much edit your game. You can open it up, you can scout it by a bunch of different categories. Um, you know, offensive plays, defensive plays, the result of the play, the jersey numbers, pretty much anything that happened during each player possession, you can break it down and then you can do searches on those things. So uh, here's play one. You know, these are all my different categories that I've scouted this game by. Um, I can move on to the next play and, and so on, and you can kind of see how it looks. Now, in this game that I've scouted, let's say I want to do a search on all the, uh, let's see, all the transition offenses. And you can see just by this there were four of them. So if I click video, and I'm going to create a filter called transition offense. And a transition offense is when the offense equals transition. I'll hit done. So now I'm going to grab it, add it to my search, and hit search. And it gives me a list of all the plays during my games that uh, had that offense. And there are my four plays. Now if I want to, I can push, push play here and, and watch them. I can create a movie file of those plays, or I can send them off into my Quick Scout design. And that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to go ahead and export it out. It's going to ask me for a description. And I will just type uh, transition offense. And hit save. So now if we go all the way back to our main menu. And we go into the create reports and playbook section. You can see there's my transition offense that I just saved. And here are the thumbnails for the four plays that go with them. So it's a real easy way for you to do a search and then import that search into your Quick Scout design. So the next thing I'm going to show you how to do now is take those four plays, create a presentation out of them, and then convert that to a smart notebook file. So to turn it into a smart notebook file, uh, first let's go in and create the presentation. Click the edit button and it will take you in and put you at page one. And it will already have the video cut up based on the uh, edit that we just did. Okay, so this is page one. Um, you've got your video here with the time codes already set. And now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a page type. I'm going to change this to notes. And the notes page allows you to take uh, text, pictures, and video and kind of put it all on the same page. Makes for a real nice presentation page. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click import. I'm going to pull a picture in. And I'm gonna, it's going to take me into my My Media folder, and we'll go ahead and grab one of these basketball pictures. And in this case, I've drawn up a play. Uh, maybe it's an example of a transition offense. Maybe it goes along with the video you're about to see. Um, so here's your video represent representation of the play. Here's your picture representation. And then if you want, you can, you can give the, the athlete some information about the play, or you can ask them a question. So, for example, we can say something like, you know, uh, this play is against a man defense if the defense switches to a 2-3 zone how does the center change their position um, so I could ask I could ask the, the, the athletes who download this I could ask them to answer this question for me uh, maybe they draw on the screen, maybe they answer it with text, whatever they want to do. So now we're done with the first play. We've created our first presentation play here. We'll move on to the second one and do the same thing. And we'll drop it down, we'll change it to notes. This time I'll grab the other basketball graphic I have. And this is a different play. And on this one I can say, um, you know, on this, def on this offense, um, a defender fought through the pick. How does the offense continue? And that allows maybe the, the, the athlete to answer that one also. Then you go through the and you do this for each play. And in this demo, I'm actually just going to use the first two plays. So I'm going to go ahead and delete number three. And delete the fourth one here. All right, so we've got our two plays. 
And now we're ready to package this whole thing together and create a smart notebook file. And the way you do that is by clicking package files and it's going to give you some options. I'm going to choose package for smart notebook and it's going to ask me for a name so I'll go ahead and type transition offense and I'll hit OK and now what it does is it takes all that video and those graphics that we have and it kind of packages them all together and wraps them up into a nice little smart notebook file so we'll go ahead and let that go through and when it's finished it will pop up on the screen for us a little message that says done and we'll go ahead and click OK and now if we go all the way back to our desktop you can see that there's our transition offense smart notebook file now because of the way files are packaged and put together as smart notebook files you may want to go in and check it out and make sure that everything looks like you want it to look um, you can open it with your your copy of smart notebook that you have on your computer um, you know while you're in there um, if you want to change fonts, if you want to change text, maybe you made a mistake, you want to check it out, you want to make pictures bigger, uh, you know, you kind of have the ability to do that now. Um, just by opening it up, if I click on the first question, you can see here's our text, our video, and our picture. And uh, maybe I want to make the picture a little bit bigger so I can move it around a little bit, you know, make it a little bit bigger. Move the text down. So, you know, you got some freedom over what you do with it um, after you create it. So, then when you're done, just go file and save and you've saved your notebook file now the next thing that you're going to want to do is upload it to your QST Sports Network website to make it available for your players to go get All right, now um, the web doesn't necessarily know what to do with a dot notebook file so the first thing you need to do is zip it and you zip it just by right clicking on it and going to send to compressed folder. So I click on compressed folder so now we want to go ahead and upload it to the website. The way you do that is through the QS, uh, the Quick Scout Basketball program. So I double click on it and I go into create reports and playbooks. Now based on what you entered when you first signed up for the website in your user settings area the the program knows where to put it on the web. So if I choose upload files to qstsportsnetwork.com I get a box now, or I get a window that'll ask me, you know, what files I want and where I want to put it. So in this case, I'm going to go find my zip file. I'm going to click Browse, and we'll browse to the desktop. Here's your zip file that you just created, and I'll hit Open. And in the description box, I'll actually give it a description of what this file is. So I'll write uh, Transition Offenses. and I'll hit attach. Now if I have more than one file, if I've created three, four, five presentations, I can actually upload them the same way just by clicking browse and finding each one individually and then giving a description. Um, when I'm done at the bottom, I'm going to say where on my website do I want to upload it to. So I'll drop this down and I'll go into scouting reports and then let's say this game is against uh, Northeast, so we'll say Northeast Motion Offense. Actually we'll go Northeast Transition and I'll hit upload. And Now what it does is it uploads that zip file to the site and it creates a web page that allows people to go in and download that file. And when it's done, it comes back with a done message. And we can go ahead and close this. Go back to our desktop. All right, now as a student, if we're on our computer at home or study hall or you know somewhere where we're not around the coach, and we want to download and look at that, all we do is go into the website, which is qstsportsnetwork.com slash, um, and then whatever your website is called, and we'll go under scouting reports and Northeast Transition, which is where we uploaded it to. And when we get there, you'll see on the screen kind of a, a directions on how to download it along with a link to download that file. Now if you had put more than one file up there you would just see a list of those files and you could have the you know you could download whichever you wanted. So in this case I'm going to click download file and I'm going to go ahead and save it to my desktop. And if I minimize here 
you can see now there's my transition offense zip file again I'm playing the role of student here um, the first thing I need to do again is unzip it so we'll go extract I'll just go extract here I'll extract it right to my desktop now there's my smart notebook file now if I'm a student the chances are pretty good that I won't have the smart notebook software on my computer at home but smart has their smart notebook express which is a web application that you can open a notebook file from anywhere so if we open up our Internet Explorer and go to express.smarttech.com, you see we open up their, uh, their program here. So what I can do now is click Open an Existing File and browse to my desktop. There's actually my Transition Offenses Notebook file right there. So I'll go ahead and click on it and open it up. and when it opens we can move to play one and you can see now here's your picture your video and your text that uh, coach created for play one and if I want now as a student let's see this plays against the man defense if the defense switches to a two three zone how does the defense how does the center change their position so now if I want to I can click in the text area and I can start typing let's see the center would so on and so forth or using the smart tools if I want to go ahead and draw let's draw this one in red I can then go ahead and say okay this person here is gonna shift out and maybe set a pick here you know allowing this guy to come free over here so you can kinda annotate over it at the same time so as a student now you got a couple different options and ways to annotate and just show the coach that you understand what you're looking at You've also got the video that goes along with it now that shows an example. So it's a, a nice tool there. Okay, so as a student, I'm done. I need to show the coach that I've answered these questions. So I can go ahead and hit File and Save. And we'll go ahead and save this on the desktop. And instead of saving over top of the old one, I'm going to call this one Transition Offense Answers and hit Save. and now that we're done if we were to close out of here and go back to our desktop you can see that here's our original the one that we downloaded but this is the one that we just answered so now I need to put that back up on our website and, and so the coach can take a look at it uh, again the first thing you need to do is zip it so I'll right click and go send to and compressed folder yes and now here's our zip file being created on our desktop and when it's done I can go into my own copy of Quick Scout Basketball and open up create reports and playbooks and again I'm still playing the student here so I'll go to tools and upload and I'll select it my answers one hit open I'll give it a name I'll just call it transition answers and but this time the location I'm gonna put it under is under my own personal area so I'll go player portfolios and in this case you know if I'm I don't know Kelly Smith um, we'll go ahead and attach it I'll go ahead and hit upload and now it's uploading those answers to uh, my name on the site so that the coach can, can go back later and download okay so it's done and if I was to quit out of here and go back to my website now I'm the coach I need to go in and see each one of these people I can go under player portfolio and go to Kelly Smith and now you can see that same uh, page gets created here are the transition answers that were uploaded by Kelly and I can click download file and I can open those up in my smart notebook um, program or if I'm not at my school if I'm at my house I can open them up in the smart notebook express and view them and and make sure that uh, Kelly understands uh, what I was trying to show her in that scouting report and that's pretty much how it's, how it's done with quick scout basketball and the, the QST sports network along with the smart notebook express